There will be days where you will ask yourself, where is all this going? What is the purpose? What is my purpose? In high school, I thought I'd discover my life's purpose when I could answer that age-old question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Nope. In college, I thought I would discover it when I could answer, what's your major? Not quite. I thought that maybe I'd discover it when I found a good job. Then I thought I just needed to get a few promotions. That didn't work either. I kept convincing myself that it was just over the horizon, around the next corner. Nothing worked, and it was really tearing me apart. Part of me kept pushing ahead to the next achievement, and the other part kept asking, is this all there is? I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're gonna find your sense of completion. I realized one night in LA that the purpose of my life had always been to free people from concern. I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. When you work towards something greater than yourself, you find meaning, you find purpose. When you keep people at the center of what you do, it can have an enormous impact. All life is interrelated. We are all bound together into a single garment of destiny. But under the sky, under the heaven, man, there is but one family. It just so happened, man, that people are different. That's the only thing that's important, really. Letting each other know we're here. Reminding each other that we're part of a larger self. Deep inside of you lives a hero who wants to do something great with your life, who wants to inspire other people, who wants to do creative work, who wants to change the world. Maybe you're so numbed out that you've forgotten who you truly are. The fact that you are alive today means there is a mighty call on your life to do something with the rest of your life. When you're convinced that your cause is right, have the courage to take a stand. Use your minds and hands and your hearts to build something bigger than yourselves. If you see a problem or an injustice, recognize that no one will fix it but you. A change in the world that seems so clear that you are sure someone else is going to do it, but they're not. You will. Ideas don't come out fully formed. They only become clear as you work on them. You just have to get started. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. I want to do good. I want the world to be better because I was here. I want my life I want my, my work, I want it to mean something. If you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. When you wake up in the morning and your life means something to somebody other than you, that you have a purpose, if you don't go do the things that you're gonna do, people's lives will suffer. To live in service, not to you, but to live in service to humanity, to live in service to your family, to your church, to your city, to your country, to the world, that is the purest form of joy. Tear down that mirror that makes you always look at yourself, and you will be able to look beyond that mirror, and you will see the millions of people that need your help. Reaching out and helping people will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've ever done. Measure your impact on humanity, not in likes, but in the lives you touch. Not in popularity, but in the people you serve. There is so much out there conspiring to make you cynical. 
People will try to convince you that you should keep your empathy out of your career. Don't let that noise knock you off course. I found that my life got bigger when I stopped caring what other people thought about me. Yours will too. Stay focused on what really matters. When I look around, I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself, to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly. That, my friend, is very hard to do. Everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart, and all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. You will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. Many things can contribute to our not approving our dreams, our not feeling good enough. A lot of things can contribute to that. Many of us never live up to our potential or don't approve ourselves because we never had anybody to believe in us. Looking at some of the things that keep us from approving ourselves, we've all done some things that we don't feel good about. Things that if we had to do those things over again, we would not do those things or we would do things differently. So part of what we must do in order to begin to move into your greatness, you got to remove a major energy block and that is dealing with the issue of forgiveness. People that have hurt you, someone who's done you wrong, make a list and things that you have done that you, you feel bad about, that you regret, make a list. There may be a time when you weren't a good father, or a good mother, or a good brother, or sister, or you, you were a bad child, or you didn't do a good job, or you lied, or you were dishonest, or you stole. No one knows this but you, or something you feel good about, so you know, there's a real dog in me to do that. Something you just really regret. So we make a list of all those things. All of us have some of that. Somebody say there is some good in the worst of us and some bad in the best of us. So none of us escape. Now here's something I want you to do. I want you to become involved in an active process to get some clutter out of your life. So if there's any area in your life that you need to clean up, there's some people who's cluttering up your life. They serve no purpose whatsoever. They're just holding and occupying the space that somebody useful, positive, nurturing, and contributing could be holding that space. You don't even have time to look to see what else is out there because you all have all of these people surrounding you that's not in enabling you to grow. So look at what is it I need to get out of my life. Just start cleaning this stuff out. See, whatever you have in your environment is a reflection of your consciousness. So you got all that chaos there. That represents some disorganized, cluttered section of your mind. So let's get all that out of there, all right? Work to get that out, clean that up. Anybody that you feel very strongly about, have some negative feelings about, let's look at some good reasons to forgive them. Number one, you must try and see what has happened or see things from that other person's point of view. Let's look at it from their point of view. That's, that's one area. That's number one. Then number two, holding a grudge hurts you. It doesn't hurt them. So just for good health and peace of mind, let it go. Any feeling of resentment or anger or hatred is called to me the load of bitterness within. Every thought that we entertain produces a chemical in our brain that impacts the body's immune system. And besides, this person you're hating, they probably are not even aware of it. Don't even know you're really hating them. You've turned up the steam. Gone from dislike to hate, intense hate. And here you are killing yourself, making yourself vulnerable to various types of illnesses, putting yourself in bad health and I say that person is not worth your sacrificing your health or one minute of peace of mind. One minute of anger robs you of 60 seconds of happiness. So decide it doesn't matter. Let it go. 
and experience the dignity and the magnanimous sense of character of being big enough to move on and get on with your life letting it go so you can grow see we all of us have greatness within us but when you don't come to grips with your greatness and you don't work to develop it if you're not seeking it out if you're not finding where it is if you're not trying to locate it if you're not experimenting with your life to try and find out what fits for you i'm saying that you're positioning yourself to be a miserable person an unfulfilled person how else do we do it procrastination we just put things off over and over and over again why because we haven't accepted it we don't feel deserving we don't feel that we're good enough so we sabotage ourselves by not ever taking care of business. We get real busy doing a lot of things where we don't have any time. We start doing so many things, we just give our time away until we don't have any time for ourselves or any time to do the things that we want to do. And every time you put it off and move it back, oh, I'll do it one day, oh yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm saying to you that one day you look around and there goes a year, there goes two years, there goes three years. So is there something you want to do? Do it now. Do it right now. Don't put it off. Start right now where you are. There will never be a perfect ideal time. Whatever you have going for you right now, that's enough. Work on that idea. Work on it. Work on it. Work on it. Watch out with the relationships you have. What kind of person are you becoming because of the relationships that you have right now? Do those people contribute to you? Do they help you grow and develop yourself? What kind of person are you becoming? People who have not accepted greatness for themselves, these people don't study, ladies and gentlemen. These people don't study. They don't have time for personal growth and development. They don't have time to work on their minds. No, they don't have time for that. Too busy for that. To determine the height of your self-approval, it's important that you evaluate yourself because you know you quite well, but it's almost impossible to do it totally by yourself. You must get some caring feedback. Find somebody close enough to you that has observed you or been around you that you value their opinion and ask them how do they see you? How do they rate you in terms of your self-esteem? And then compare what you have with what they say. See, there are things many times that people can see in us that we can't see because it's a blind spot. When someone pays you a compliment, can you handle it well? Can you handle compliments well? That's a good barometer about your self-esteem. Can you handle criticism well? Can you give criticism? What are your expectations? What do you expect to get from life? What do you expect to get from your business? What do you expect to get from your relationships? What is your ideal day? What is it that you expect from this experience, this trip, this journey that you're involved in? People that that have a strong sense of self-approval, they have high expectations for themselves and from life and from others. See, a lot of people don't expect much from life. So they don't shoot for much. They're not preparing for much. A lot of people are just showing up in life. A lot of people just get up in the morning and they go through the day, they go to the job just to pull a check down, watching the clock coming in. So you want to be a different kind of person as you forward your life. You want to get something out of this. If you're going to do it, it's worth your time, your energy. You've got some expectations from this. So examine your expectations versus your wishes. Some people wish they could do better. But some people expect to do better. Where are you on that? And love yourself. Make caring for you the highest priority in your life. Take care of you. Look out for what truly satisfies you. We're not taught to love ourselves. We're not taught to look out for ourselves. We're not taught to take care of ourselves, to become sensitive to our wants, to our needs, our, our desires. So make a conscious effort. Make you number one priority. Your peace of mind. Your health is more important than your family and any and everybody. Because if you don't have peace of mind, if you don't have your health, you can't serve anybody. Don't neglect yourself. A lot of us, and particularly ladies, have been groomed to be sacrificial lambs. Putting their dreams on the back burner in deference to their children's dreams or their husband's dreams or their family's dreams. And forget about themselves. 
then become resentful and angry and bitter. So start taking care of yourself, looking out for you. Develop a health plan. Your health is all you got. So start taking care of you, eating nutritious meals, willing to exercise your body, taking care of this body, loving yourself. So do some good stuff for yourself on purpose. Take some time out for you. You can't develop and manifest your greatness. You can't be a high achiever if you don't feel good. You don't take care of yourself. It takes the edge off your life. It helps you to manage things rather than allowing them to manage you. Gives you more personal power to deal with stuff. Take care of you. Now here's something else I suggest for you. Become aware of what your needs are and develop compassion towards yourself despite your human defects. Develop compassion for yourself despite your human defects. You will never be perfect. Hello? You will never be perfect. You're human. You've made a lot of mistakes. You've done a lot of dumb, stupid things. Guess what? You're not through yet. You've got to learn to be gentle with yourself. Make it all right. What you don't know, mistakes that you make. It's okay. Handle it. Learn from the experience. Decide that you are going to whatever you become involved in to be up front, to be true to yourself. Are you getting what you need out of it? And be up front with people and tell them what you need from them. Don't assume that they know. Don't say, I thought you knew. No, tell people up front, here's what I need from this in order for this to work for me. Be up front with your stuff. Tell them up front so they're not surprised later on. So your feelings aren't hurt later on. See, if they tell you up front they can't do it, now you know you can keep on stepping. But tell people up front, here's what I want. In order for me to play this game with you, if we're going to dance, this is what i got to get out of it. See, if you don't take care of your needs, guess what? You will always have that nagging song in the back of your mind say, well, when do I get mine? See, we're taught to be quiet and not speak up for ourselves and not to be selfish. If you don't take care of you, who do you think is going to take care of you? Who's going to look out for you better than you will? No one. No one's going to do that. You got a business? No one's going to take care of your business better than you. Nobody, nobody. Anything you want to do in life, you've got to take ownership of it and say, hey, I'm going to make this happen. Be willing to venture out and do something that you have fantasized about doing. And you know you probably won't be good at it, but do it anyhow.